In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you one of the must-do experiences here whilst you're in Koh Samui. It is visiting the Samui Elephant Sanctuary, which is probably the first elephant sanctuary here in Koh Samui that was the ethical one. And I'm gonna be showing you one of the best views here in Lamai. Be showing you one of the highest viewpoints here in Koh Samui. I'm going to be taking you to a magic garden where only 4x4 safaris can get to. This is an amazing video that I've got for you guys today so make sure you stick around. Let's get into it. And we are starting today at the Beaufort Resort Hotel with a absolutely delicious breakfast. I actually had the banana pancakes, which are amazing, and you can get them on special request, so make sure you ask for those, and of course, some fruit. With an amazing, amazing view of the ocean. Big day ahead, really excited for it. And so we started today by getting picked up from the hotel and taken to the Beaufort Samui Elephant Sanctuary. And if you haven't had breakfast, don't worry, because they have got a selection of some food, bananas, coffee, some tea. But we are gonna to start today by having a brief introduction just over here. What is now they did open this elephant sanctuary in 2018 with only three rescue elephants and since they've used the money that they've gained from the tourism of visiting and looking after these elephants to expand with a grand total now of 13 elephants and they have two sanctuaries now here in Koh Samui so that is amazing. Many of these elephants actually used to be involved in riding, they were chained up and many of them actually have scars from when they were abused through people, you know, hitting them and all that other cruelty. But today, they have a very, very lovely life. As you can see, they're all very happy. And today's tour actually started with a really good introduction about the food, how we're gonna be feeding them, the rice, the sticky rice, the coconut, how they're rolled into this banana leaf and how we're gonna actually be doing that, which is, you know, really, really cool. And I cannot wait to feed these things. They look so happy. And we've got the food here. We've got the bananas. Yeah, we've got some bananas. We've got the sticky rice with the, uh, with the coconut and um, we've got some very hungry elephants. So, yeah, let's crack on. And if you're wondering how we do those POV style shots. <laughs> Love that. How are these turning out? Hopefully good. Hopefully good. <laughs> the screen goes blank, so. What have you got in here? A little snack pack. A little snack pack. A little snack pack. That, my friends, is called elephant sushi. It's a combination of rice, sticky rice in fact, with coconut to help the digestion process and the banana leaf to obviously hold it all together with some delicious bananas, organic of course, inside. And what happens after that? Where's that gonna go? So it doesn't look like much at the minute because it's gonna fall apart. Yeah. But you have to boil it for an hour. Yes. It gets nice and soft so they can eat it nicely. So as the rice sushi things are cooking, they're currently boiling, we're gonna feed them some watermelon to cool down. So you should only stroke their trunk if you've got food. And obviously we have got food, so we can get away with it. And if they're flapping their ears, that is how you know that they are happy elephants. And these guys are constantly flapping, so that shows that they are, you know, of course, very, very happy. I just want to take a minute to talk about today's paid partnership with BetterHelp. I, like everyone else, can often find life overwhelming, but I've always thought that because I've never been diagnosed with anything clinically, that these are just problems that you need to work through yourself but there are professional therapists for that. Not only to have someone to talk to to give you perspective on those problems, but also to give you some of the tools and strategies to work through them. BetterHelp's goal is to make therapy more accessible. And this is really important because often finding the right therapist is very difficult, but BetterHelp makes it 
so easy because it's all online. You basically fill out a little quiz on their website, answering a few questions about your life and your goals, and it will match you with a credentialed therapist that you can start speaking to in as little as a few days. You can do these sessions via phone, video, or text. And the best part is if you're not fully satisfied with the therapist and you don't think it's a perfect match, you can change to a new one at no additional cost. All of this is something that I can really get behind because therapy has definitely helped my life get better. And BetterHelp are providing a service to make therapy more accessible. So if you're struggling at all, click the link betterhelp.com forward slash Matt James and you will get 10% off your first month. So you can try it at a discount and see if it's right for you. And with that being said, let's get back to Thailand. I'm going to see this one first. The newest elephant. Right, okay. The newest elephant. So right. she just came here like four months ago. Four months ago. Wow. Right. So this is Kampang and she was rescued from a riding camp in Phuket. And she only actually came here four months ago, so she hasn't actually got any friends yet. But um, I'll be her friend. We've got lots of bananas to feed her and make her feel better. But she has got a really bad abscess as well on her cheek. And that's probably from, you know, an infection that she caught after, you know, being abused in the last place. But she is being well looked after here. And the goal really is just to integrate her better into, you know, this environment with the other, other elephants. And um, hopefully she'll be back to full form at some point. It's so cute to see the interaction between some of the elephants. So there's a couple over there which have become best friends. They didn't actually know each other before they came here. And you can see the interaction between them. It's so, so adorable. I just want the same for her. It's so cute. But there's one over here as well, having a shower, cooling down. And I think she's the next one that we're gonna be feeding. So this one is Cartoon, she's 60 years old and she's a little bit of a mischievous one, but she was just enjoying a lovely mud bath. And that is because for elephants to cool down, they don't actually sweat. They need to use the mud and the water and their ears. And that is why they're so big, because they actually use them as a sort of fan to flap and to cool themselves down. <laughs> this one's being super cute. This is absolutely mental. So she's picking up the mud, using her trunk and her feet and covering her body with it. And that is because she wants to protect herself from all the mosquitoes and all the insects. She doesn't have mosquito repellent. She uses mud. What's been going on? You just picked up a little chick. <laughs> well, it's the most chicks you're picking up. Yeah. <laughs> so at this sanctuary, you're not just gonna get elephants, you're also gonna get little baby chicks. Look at her. She's so soft, just a little baby. Oh, this is the most adorable thing I've ever seen. You having a little itch? You having a little itch? <laughs> the elephant's having an itch. And she uses a tree to do so. Now, during COVID, it was really difficult for the sanctuary to keep afloat. So what they had to start doing is actually growing their own food because these elephants actually eat around 300 kilograms of food per day. So right here at the sanctuary, they've started growing their own watermelon. They bought an area for bananas to grow, a plantation, and they have maintained sustainability and managed to get through COVID and look after these wonderful animals. So every day the elephants actually have different routines and today isn't necessarily a bathing day, but we were lucky enough to see one of the elephants just having a cool down, having a swim in the water. Today is actually play day. So that is what these guys are just doing. They're just having the best time. Guys, the most important thing to take from this is riding elephants is not something you should ever wish to do. If an elephant is able to be ridden, that means it has undergone huge amounts of cruelty, torture, whipping, and that's actually where a lot of these elephants got their scars from. 
elephants are not supposed to be ridden. They are supposed to be living free in a sanctuary like this, allowed to roam around, to bathe when they want, to have fun, have relationships with the other elephants. But of course, it is okay for us as tourists to come here, to feed them, and all of the money by doing that goes towards supporting these sanctuaries in bringing in and rescuing more of these absolutely remarkable creatures. This is an amazing, amazing place and I can highly recommend you guys to book this tour. Link's gonna be in the description below. Now, Wynn, thank you very much, girl. You've been thank an amazing you. guide. Spub me on that. Oh. And after you've watched the elephants just eat and eat and eat, it's your turn to do exactly the same. They put on this buffet, they've got pad thai, some lovely food. And as you can see behind me, also a description about all the elephants and the ones that we did meet today. But right now, I'm gonna do the same as what an elephant does and eat 10% of my body weight in food. Yankee, my man. What's up, how are you doing? He just left me hanging, but it's fine. We move, we're jumping in his four by four and we're making our way around the island. Let's do it. We've just made an essential stop off at Thailand's very own Starbucks. It's called Cafe at Amazon. It's got an iced latte, very, very sweet though. Not sure I prefer it. It's good, but I need the caffeine kick. Let's keep moving. adrenaline junkies out there we've got a very exciting first stop planned we're doing the my viewpoint we're not just doing the viewpoint though to see the incredible views of course we're also doing some zip lining what's this kev tell us about that what is this the valentine stone and what about it if you rub it like this yeah touch it, you love who whoever me love matt love the matt james youtube channel like the matt james Yes. Buttons there. Now at Lamai Fish Point, you're not just gonna get adrenaline, you're also gonna get a fish spa if you fancy it. You know, if you've got dead skin on your feet, which I do, and I don't wanna show you guys because that's gross, you can get your feet nibbled on. Hopefully after this, that will all have vanished. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Sore? Oh no, that's amazing. That is such a nice feeling. It's so weird. It's so weird, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I don't know how I feel about that. How do you feel about the hiking, Kev? Fantastic. Fantastic. I'm not sure how I feel, but fortunately, we're going on a cable car to the top. We're not going to be hiking the full way. That is the sound of us arriving. How long to the top? Uh, maybe 100 minutes. 100 minutes? Mate. 100 meters. <laughs> now already on this cable car, we are getting a look at some of the most amazing views. The water is so blue. We're lucky because today it is such a sunny day as well. And I think we are just about at the top. Bingo. And look at that. Stunning. And here we are at the top of Lamai viewpoint with an incredible view all over Lamai. Now in the other video that we did with Mr. Samui, which you can click on that card up there to see, we did the views of Chawang. We saw some amazing 360 visuals, but here we've got an amazing view of Lamai Beach, which looks absolutely stunning from up here. If the weather is as good as this. This is actually a great spot to so just come for a drink, grab a bite to eat at Lamai Viewpoint before you go ahead and do the zip line, which is what we're just about to head over and do. We're gonna enjoy these. Mm. Absolutely delicious. So what are we doing here, Kev? Signing our life away. Signing our life away. Are you signing your life away as well? Nah, Because I'm is not that? doing zip line. He's not doing a zip line. He's not cut out for this life. <laughs> no? No heights, no zip line for him. So the harness isn't enough when you're uh, doing the zip lines here at Lamai. You've also got to wear the bandana. Am I right? Yeah. This is how you know you're doing some real extreme sports here in Thailand. So I bleached my hair. 
tried something different. Maybe now I'm going to start wearing these. And a helmet. What do we reckon? So, uh, yeah, we're at the zip line spot. This is one of two zip lines. I'm feeling good. I've done a lot of zip lining before. I feel very secure. Got the team around us. Mr. B. Mr. <laughs> Welcome B. to Lamai Viewpoint. So, Mr. B owns the whole of Lamai Viewpoint. This is his spot, his zip line. So, if anything goes wrong, he's to blame. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. Ready? Let's do it! Whoa! Oh my god! <laughs> This is so much fun! <laughs> wow! Wow! Hey, hey, hey. Oh, hey, number two. We're ready. Let's do it. Whoa! <laughs> oh. This is unbelievable! This is so much fun! Thank you, man. Okay. See you soon. Thanks, All the best. Sir. Wow, that was absolutely unbelievable. For all you adrenaline junkies, you're gonna absolutely love the zip line. I don't know if you can tell from the amount of screaming that I did, but I had a very good time on the zip line. But now we're gonna keep moving back on the cable car, back to base, and back in Mr. Samui's 4x4. Isn't that right? Yeah. Let's move. <laughs> There is no way on earth you can take this route unless you're in a 4x4 Jeep like this one. made it to the highest viewpoint that you guys can get to here in Koh Samui. It gives you an unbelievable panoramic 360 view all over Koh Samui. You can see the mainland, you can actually see Koh Panyang, and if you're lucky and it is clear skies like it is today, you can also see Koh Tao. But we can see things like Big Buddha, we can see all sorts, a beautiful, beautiful view of Lamai. I thought we'd already seen the best view of Lamai, but actually if you come up here, you get an even better view. But the only way that you will be able to get up here is if you are in a 4x4 safari. Don't even try it on a scooter or your own rental vehicle. It's just not gonna be possible. It is literally off-roading. And so we are at the Magic Garden, and this is meant to represent the kind of dancing that the royal family would at one point be able to experience. People dressing up, wearing these hats, and it was only the royal family that would experience this because it was very, very expensive to put on these shows. Now, you'll also notice a lot of these statues, they don't cover up their breasts, and that is because only the wealthier people were actually able to afford clothing like the royal family. Back then, Thai women did not cover up. It was only actually when the Europeans came and introduced their culture over here and said, no, you guys need to be covering up. So yeah, really, really cool place. And we can also see some of the old Thai houses, which are meant to represent, you know, the way that people lived way back when. But all in all, just a really lovely place and a really great, you know, place to add to your itinerary if you've got the right kind of transport, of course. One thing you've definitely got to be aware of when you come to this garden are the mosquitoes. So come covered up or covered in mosquito or cover. And we have made it to our final stop 
today. This is Crystal Bay Beach. It's actually right next to Lamai Beach, which is probably considered one of the best beaches on the island. But this is just more like closed off rather than a long stretch. It is lovely here. You can just chill out. It's, you know, it's nice sand. It's white sand. It's not gonna cause problems to your feet. So we're just gonna go for a swim, just relax for the rest of the evening and probably get some food at the restaurant right at the end. Dinner, we've come to Crystal Bay Resort and tonight they've got a fire show so that is wicked we're watching that and enjoying that whilst we enjoy this absolutely delicious Thai meal with a pizza finally we've got some uh, Western food food's great here the vibes good and yeah I'm just gonna continue enjoying this food Actually going to end today's video so if you have enjoyed it hit that like button down there and also subscribe down there and also hit that bell notification button down there and also check out the playlist here from thailand and all these other videos on my channel but as always i'll see you in the next one